Deep within Google Tilt Brush are a few hidden options that are pretty cool. You can access them in the lower right corner of your menu. It says more options where the three dots are. The main thing we're gonna address is the labs, but I wanna show you a few of the settings. You can alter the positioning of your brush. So it either points forward like a regular pencil, or you can have it point straight downward. Here you can add some ruler lines to your straight edge. Pretty simple stuff. Let's go back to the labs though, because there is one particular special feature that I've been using quite frequently in the VR paintings that I do, and that is a photo reference accessed through the media library. Now, your media library is something that can contain videos, photos. You need to fill it up when you have it connected to a computer. The Oculus Quest that I'm running Google Tilt Brush on runs on Android. When I connect it to a Windows computer, I have a regular file system as I would any sort of external hard drive because I mainly use a MacBook Pro. I have a specialty program called Android File Transfer and this just simply allows me to access the file hierarchy when I have my Oculus Quest plugged into my MacBook Pro. You can drag and drop your photographs into the Oculus Media Library section. Once you have them there, you can open them up in your painting. You can scale it. You can essentially trace it. You can use the color sampler to pick the colors as I've done with this young woman's hair. This is Alina, one of the models that I worked with most frequently over the last four years. Whenever I do something with photo reference, I always have this strong desire to make a replica of the original photo, but by the time I'm done with any of my VR paintings using photo reference, I've added tentacles or something really crazy um, because ultimately I realized that you can make a strange or inferior version of a photograph or you can take advantage of the tools that you have with the media you're working with to make something that's really different from the photo. I wanna make a version of this that I could not have possibly done when I photographed her in person. So after I've done some of the basics of the face, using the color sampler and various brushes, I'm going to add some energy effects and I'm gonna disregard some of the features that are actually on this photograph. I don't think I wanna do a pleasant picture of a woman holding a leaf. I wanna do something that's exciting and vibrant and could only be done with Google Tilt Brush VR art. I'm going to give the rest of her body kind of a ghost-like apparition lower half. I'm gonna have it spiral down and it looks like she's a spirit coming out of something. I'm gonna have her come out of some fire. So I'll put some embers around her. This is the embers that'll be coming out of my fire. I'm gonna build a fire completely around her, make sure I have some smoke. And because the energy effects in Google Tilt Brush are so bright that they kind of overwhelm the piece and they catch the eye. I'm gonna use ink splatter and cover up some of that with some dark silhouette stuff. Make sure that you're not completely drawn to the fire, but you still get a sense of the energy. I'm gonna add some life to her eyes because so far in my own paintings, the eyes have looked really dead. They don't have that spark that I'm able to get in uh, some of the other media that I create artwork in. So I'll add light to them, dots, I'm gonna add smoke to her eyes. Uh, I've done this in almost every portrait I've done of somebody. Ultimately, I have a piece that sort of evokes the notion of burning a witch. I'm not saying my friend looks like a witch, but I am saying that it's got a lot of fire and vibrancy. And I think that most people who look at this and they see uh, a woman in flames will either think of the X-Men character Phoenix, or they're gonna think of the sort of classic urban legend of pilgrims burning a witch at the stake. There you have it, how to access and operate with photo reference. Uh, feel free to be as faithful to your own photo references that you place within Google Tilt Brush. I just felt like having a lot of fun with this stuff and making pieces that take advantage of all the tools that I have access to in Tilt Brush.